Hey, and welcome to my channel. This is meal planning grocery haul, but I'm doing it on Wednesday. I have decided I'm going to change and do my shopping on Wednesday because I liked it last week. The store was not crowded. The shelves were good in stock, which Harris Teeter usually is pretty good in stock. But I'm going to go back to Harris Teeter today. And um, so I just decided I'll go ahead and change it to Wednesday and do my weigh in on Thursday because it's too much to try to do it all in one day. Even if all I do is film the meal plan, meal plan and grocery haul and put it up on Thursday, still uploading and filming the weigh in and waiting on all that cuts into my shopping time. So that's why I'm changing. No other reason. No other reason than I just want to shop on Wednesday. And then my menu plan, I'm going to go instead of shopping on Wednesday and still going from Friday to Thursday, kind of hedge my bets on my produce staying fresh. I'm going to change that to Wednesday to Tuesday. So what we have here for Wednesday and Thursday is already on the menu from last week. So that's why you're hearing a repeat because I just backed it up put those same things on this menu and went from there. So for today, we're having some kind of chicken. I'm not sure what kind. Well, it's gonna be turnips au gratin, but I didn't have my cream cheese thawed out yesterday. That was what, what was supposed to be yesterday. And no, that's what's supposed to be. I, I'm confused. <laughs> I think I wrote this out before I flip flopped it. So today is turnips au gratin, which was supposed to be yesterday, but I forgot to thaw out my cream cheese. So I got that in there thawed out. So today, I had to change this on here, is that and okra. Thursday, some kind of pork chops. I still haven't decided how I want to make them. Brown rice and broccoli. And I forgot to buy broccoli, apparently. So I have some emergency broccoli in the freezer. I'm just going to use that. And then Friday, I was going to make spaghetti squash spaghetti. I mean, they were sitting here talking um, about what I was meal prepping. And, I, and it's soup. I said, I don't mind eating soup all year long because you eat hot food otherwise. So what's the difference in hot soup? And he goes, yeah, I like um, chili beans all year long. I'm like, well, I'll just make him some chili beans. So Friday, that's what we're having. Chili beans and... I think I'll make some kind of chocolate to go with it since I'm not making cornbread. I have seen keto cornbread. I say cornbread because they ain't a piece of corn going nowhere near it. So I don't call, I don't like calling things what they are if they're not in there like that. And well, what's coming up here on Saturday? This is a classic example. I'm making hamburger steaks with mushrooms, and these are hamburger steaks for you. I don't know, they might be considered Salisbury steaks. You mix stuff in the meat. You don't just fry it just as a hamburger steak with some mushrooms. And then cheesy baked cauliflower. The recipe I found calls it um, like cauliflower mac and cheese. Well, I don't because there ain't no mac in it. <laughs> no macaroni. I'm not a fan of calling things what they are because it, it's, it's not macaroni and cheese. Just like the um, cornbread is not cornbread. So, and, and there's a recipe for keto oatmeal. There ain't no oats nowhere near it. It's just like seeds and things, <laughs> which I think I'm going to try one day, but I'm not going to call it oatmeal. Oh, anyway, enough of that. And then Sunday, I'm not going to cook anything because I'll be gone all day to get Sebastian. It's a 10 hour round trip. We meet halfway which is like five hours and then five hours back. So David, he'll just be on his own that day. And then Monday, air fried pork rind coated chicken, some kind of beans and some zucchini. Tuesday, I'm kind of um, doing the same thing as I did Thursday, but I'm going to do barbecue pork chops and brown rice. And I have some asparagus in the freezer some emergency asparagus. I thought, well, I'll go ahead and use that instead of buying some more. So that's what we're having for the week. Now for meal prep, these are three new recipes. I told you last week there wouldn't be no meal prep this week because I'll be gone Sunday. But I'm going to do it Saturday because with having him here, I'm going to need some um, foods to go to because first of all, 
he'll wear me out and I'll be tired. And you know what happens when I'm tired. And second of all, I'll be fixing him food and I don't want to be tempted to eat macaroni and cheese with him or, or waffles or whatever it is that the child likes these days. So for breakfast, I found a recipe for keto French toast egg puffs. I think that's from Peace Love. It's either... You see, the peace, love, and low carb, or all, I think it's all day I dream about food. S same with lunch. It's the same um, website, low carb chicken pot pie. And then snack is uh, chocolate mousse from Big Man's World. That's a, uh, a website Denise over at Dish with D turned me on to. He's got lots of good um, keto desserts. And the chocolate mousse sounds delicious. <laughs> so I'm going to make that. So that is what we're having this week. I haven't shopped yet at the time I'm filming this, but my plan is to only go to Harris Teeter. And so let's just turn around and look at that. Okay, so here's Harris Teeter. I just unloaded it where he set it down so I didn't group anything together. And I have our groceries and Sebastian's groceries all mixed in. But we got the almond milk and the skim milk. And here's some regular squash and zucchini. I didn't take them out of the bag yet. These birch benders, keto, that, yeah, chocolate chip keto and plain keto, they were buy one get one free. And then one of them had a dollar off. So that made it even cheaper. But we've been seeing IHOP commercials and it says everybody needs a pancake or something like that. And we're like, yes, we need a pancake. <laughs> so I thought this might be a, a nicer low carb version. You don't get but like two pancakes, but still. That'll be enough to maybe get us a little fix. So that's why I got that. And the Parmesan cheese. It goes in a recipe, but I honestly can't remember right off the bat which one. And the Lily's chips. The Stevia sweetened. That is for my chocolate mousse. The cheddar cubes are for David because he likes to take shortcuts too. Um, it's just easier for him to grab this bag and sit over there and eat it than have to worry about cutting it. So sometimes... Sometimes we like shortcuts. Sometimes we don't like to just do everything. Do we, honey? <laughs> he's on the couch. I don't know if he's listening to me or not. These are for Sebastian. And the grits are for Sebastian. He'll come in sometimes first thing. He'll say, oh, grits. <laughs> he was raised in the South. He was born in the South. And when he come to the South when he was a baby, I started him on grits. And they don't give them to him up there. So he, he does get his grits down here. And he likes these little bites of muffins, so I got him blueberry. Now, some of the stuff you're going to see for him, no, it's not nutritious, but I'm having him for three weeks, and I'm not going to spend three weeks trying to change his palate to what that I know it was the last time he was here. She said he eats pretty much the same thing, so he's going to get what he wants when he's at Mama and Papa's house. It's not a, a time to try to train a taste bud. That's something they will have to do up there, so I'm just going with, what the child likes and that's that and david decided he does like this siggies so i got him some more of that and another heavy cream because that does go in the chocolate mousse they have one more of the tenderloins markdown it was 2.99 this one's mesquite barbecue that we had one of those other ones from last week it was so moist and tender it was very good the teriyaki it was very very good so i thought well for three bucks, I'd throw that one in the freezer, too. I just sometimes, they mark those things down so good, you really can't pass it up. And I got another one of the little small carb balance. These are the three, I think, net carbs. Oh, that says two net carbs. Okay. And they're just a good size for a little sandwich. And speaking of sandwich, let's see, which one is this? This one is my, it's called Tavern Ham. I just told her I wanted something that didn't have added sugar. And then they were out of roast beef again. She said their truck is coming tomorrow. And they're hoping there'll be some roast beef on it, but they're not sure. So I got him that ever roast chicken again because he really liked that last week. And then their cantaloupes were on sale. So I got him a really big one. And it, it's got a good um, sweet smell at the end. So it should be good for him. And then a little pack of tomatoes, which... I hadn't made it to the farmer's market yet. And a seedless cucumber for our salad. This I could have got if we were 
still eating taters all the time. I could have got a bunch of these. They were $3.79. They had $3 off. And you steam them in the bag. See the little taters that's in there? So I got that bag for 79 cents. I figured this and something I'm going to show you on the other side of the kitchen is something David can eat Sunday when I'm not going to be here to cook. And the mushrooms, they were marked down. I'm not using them till Saturday, but they don't go out until the 6th. So they should be fine as long as I keep them in the refrigerator. The bacon I got for me and Sebastian, they had this center cut bacon, buy one get one free, which made it cheaper than all the other bacons. So that's why I got it. And David wanted sausage, and we looked up. They had their nieces back in, and they had their nieces' liver mush back in. So you know I had to get one of those. Me and Sebastian will eat that. And then these are for Sebastian. They used to be for David and Sebastian. They were both of theirs, but since doing the low-carb, David's quit eating the chips. So those are for Sebastian. Unless he decides he wants one, he can have one. And then his um, whole wheat bread that he likes. Now let's go see what's on the other side of the kitchen. All right, over here, I got a big thing of eggs. And I wasn't sure if Sebastian liked noodle soup or not, but I got this mega noodle. I thought I'd try that, see if he liked that. And Oh, sorry, putting my arm in there, making it go blurry. Some kidney beans for our chili beans. And this is for supper tonight. I told you we're having some kind of chicken. I didn't know what kind. This is Duke's Carolina Gold. It's right there where we got that moonshine barbecue sauce from last week, which, let me tell you, is absolutely delicious. If you see Duke's moonshine barbecue sauce, do yourself a favor and get it. It's delicious. So I'm thinking this has got to be just as good. And then his Trop 50 again and half and half for my um, coffee. They had my favorite lettuce in, so I was real happy about that, the green leaf. That's already ready to go. It looks good, too. Looks nice. The pancakes, frozen pancakes, they were buying to get one free, so I got that for Sebastian. And then the waffles were actually on sale, too. He loves waffles. And then he loves pizza, and these were on sale, too. Hey, I got a lot of things on sale, so I just got him some little Totino's party pizzas. And the cauliflower is for our cheesy baked cauliflower. You know, that mac and cheese cauliflower I was telling you about. <laughs> and then David's 50-50 um, spring mix. That last one we got, it was less to get the big one at BJ's, but oh my gosh, it froze on us and went bad quicker. So I just got him this little small one and paid the same amount. And then got a go for Sebastian. A little bit of frozen peas goes in the chicken pot pie soup. These are high carb, but there's not enough in it spread out to matter. And then he loves these chewy chips always. Sebastian does, so you know he got that. And um, they were on sale too. And bananas. And then I'm pretty sure he likes applesauce, so I got him the cinnamon. I thought he might like that. And these were the things I was telling you about I'm going to get for David. They were $7.99 with $5 off roasted garlic chicken. And I read the, it's paleo, which uh, that's not why I got it, but it um, has, the ingredients sound like it would taste good. And I thought he could have one of these and steam him those potatoes and that would be something for him to eat when I'm not here on Sunday. So that is it for Harris Teeter. That is it for the week. And I will see you on my next video.